How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? How's it going, Leafs Nation? This one's going to be a rough one. This one is going to be a rough one. Before we get into any of that, producer, roll the tape. Turn up your volume. Because you're about to listen to The Sick Podcast. With that Leafs fan. They score! They score! Holy Mackinac! They score! Morgan Riley! Mo, Mo, Mo Riley! The Leafs have won it! They're going to the second round! Do you believe this? Holy Mackinac! The sickest Toronto Maple Leafs podcast. It's gonna be sick. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Oh, man. No, there's going to be no structure to this one. We're, we're going to get straight to it. I'm going to cut the bullshit. Um, Leafs lose game three to the Boston Bruins, 4-2 to two on home ice. Welcome back to another edition of the Leafs beat the Leafs. Can't lose that game, man. Can't lose that game. Oh, man. I don't even want to go in full detail of the game because where do I start? I don't know. Oh, there's so like it the game has finished what 12 hours ago. I feel almost even worse than I did yesterday night. Like now now that the adrenaline went away from the game and it toned down, that one really that was a painful loss. Those are the ones that hurt the most. The ones where this one hurt a lot more than game one, first of all. Because game one, I didn't think we were the better team. I thought Boston taught us a lesson in that first game. And they should have won that game. Boston should have won game one. So although we lost, it didn't feel as painful because I genuinely didn't think we deserved it. This one, uh, oh, it could have gone so many different ways. Could have gone so many different ways. I really, I really thought we were the better team. I really thought we were the better team. Maybe that was my bias or something in that game. I don't know. It just felt like we were doing the right things, but the Leafs beat the Leafs. Look, let's get, let's get to the main points here. Five power plays, no goals. Samson, a fantastic game. Let's in a softy right after we take our first lead of the game. Tight hockey breakdowns towards the end of the period, start of another. It's th- those last one minute, minute and a half, and beginnings of the periods. Oh, man, it's, uh, it's such a game of inches, man. The, the NHL playoffs is truly... It truly comes down to detail because at the end of the day, I've said this before, every NHL team is capable capable of winning a hockey game. All of them, whether you're 32nd in the league or first President's Trophy winner, every NHL team is good enough to win a hockey game. When it comes down to the playoffs, like I said, everyone is capable of winning. What separates a regular team and a, and a, a championship team is the one who can sharpen the details. And look, I I really thought Toronto was the better team in this one, but Boston, they got the details right. They got the details right. There's a huge difference between generating opportunities and capitalizing on them. Generating opportunities shows me, okay, you're giving the effort, you're doing the right things, but it won't matter if you don't finish, if you don't capitalize on it. It, it. That that was the story of the game. I mean, I thought the Leafs had some great moments throughout the game. I thought, I thought again, we generated a lot of offense. We generated a lot of power plays, but we just didn't capitalize on it. And that results us in being down 2-1 in the series. It's that simple. It's that simple. Oh, that one. Oh, and who other, who other 
Of course it had to be Brad Marchand to win that game. Uh, I'm like biting my tongue trying to keep this as like family friendly as I possibly can. Damn. That one just feels like uh, we gave that one. Look, there's a lot of hockey to be played. There's a lot of hockey to be played, but now is really where it's like it's crunch time, guys. To the Leafs, it's crunch time. It's been crunch time, but now it's like crunch time. You give away another game like that, this series is as good as done. You can't let a game like that slip. I hate, I hate. I can't stand Boston. I can't stand them. And I love the Leafs so much. I love this team so much. I love this team the same way an older brother loves their siblings. It's like that kind of love. The kind of love where you're going to be so hard on your sibling because you just want the best for them and you're always going to be there. You're always going to be there to support them and you're going to be the hardest on them out of anyone else, but that is only because you want the best for them. That's what it is like loving the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's just like, it's just your little brother. Just you see all the potential in your little brother and just sometimes he makes some stupid decisions. He, he's, and you just want the best for them. So you, you're, you're just so hard on them. And you're never going to stop loving them. You're never going to stop loving your little brother. Never. You're going to love him more and more every single day. You just want the best for them. That's all you want. It's like, it's true love. That's what it is like being a Leafs fan. That's, that's genuinely what it's like. Disappoint me all you want. Hurt me all you want. I'm a Leafs fan for life. That's that's bottom line here. Leaf fans as well. We get so mad after a game. If if we end up getting eliminated, we're gonna have our day or two or, or three of being completely miserable, protecting our hearts, saying, Oh, I'm so done. I'm so no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Are you kidding me? If you're still here right now, you're going to try and convince me that you're done? No, you're not. We're going to be here for life, and that's the part that hurts the most. Because quite frankly, the Leafs can do whatever the fuck they want. We're going we're gonna to come back tomorrow, or the next day, or the day after that. But we're always going to be here. We're always going to be here trying to see the optimistic side Trying to see the potential in our little brother because we just want them to succeed. We want them to succeed more than we want ourselves to succeed. We want our little brother to be better than us. That's, that's. And last night, man, our... gave a good effort. Really did. Just split second stupidity, man. That's, it's, it's details. Details that you just can't afford to fuck up at this time in the season. It's not the season anymore. Like this type of loss in a season would leave me optimistic because I'm like, okay, we're doing the right things. It would make me optimistic because I'm like, if we ever come across a game like this when it actually matters, I'd hope they would have finalized these details. I hope they would have cracked down on these details so that it wouldn't happen when it counts. So the fact that it happened... In such like what fe what felt like such an important game, like this one felt really massive. You could feel it. Even for once, I have to say, the Leafs crowd, it felt like they embraced the the stress. They embraced the em em embraced the the anxiety, and just went full support, full support, and. Normally, from Leaf fans, you don't see that. It's usually very quiet. It's very um, edge of your seat, but quiet, antsy. This one, it felt like the crowd was in it. 
it, it was in it that we were behind them in this one. And they really didn't give a bad effort. It just came down to the details. And it just slipped. It just slipped. Lucky for us, the series isn't over. It's not done. It's so far from being done. It's It really shocks me. 2013, 2017, 2018, 2024. These teams have gone through monumental, monumental changes. James Van Riemsdyk is on the Bruins. He was with us when we blew that 4-1 lead. It literally doesn't matter which team has which players. It's always like this. It's it's like it it doesn't even matter. Like it's just it it's just, it's just names. This one is really like crest versus crest battle. It's really like the Leafs versus the Bruins. That's that's what it is. It's, it's like as a hockey fan, if you step back and like watch this, like as an outsider, it's so entertaining to watch because it's like. There's so much like hatred. There's such a, a rivalry. There's also like to a certain extent a level of respect. And w when I say respect, I mean there's there's so much respect I find with amongst these two teams in the sense that they just the the compete level is always at a maximum, and that to me shows that you respect your opponent enough to know you need to show up or it's done. It's that level of it's like a a an an enemy respect. I don't know how to explain it. Like you don't take the opponent lightly. Like you really give it your all, and that to me is like a a sign of respect in that sense. And there's there's a ton of it in this series. It's incredible the compete level from everyone. Players doing things they don't normally do. Simon Benoit. What a hit on Pasternak. Pasternak being a dog the whole game for the Bruins. Jeremy Swayman, what a fucking goalie. Oh, my God. I can't stand him because he's so good. Brad Marsha, I fucking hate this guy. I hate this guy because he is so good at what he does. He's so unbelievably incredible at what he does, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's only three games in, and I feel like we've gone. It, it's like a whole season this past week has felt like. This is what the playoffs are all about, guys. I said it. I said this. The, the playoff run would make you feel the highest highs, the lowest lows, and everything in between. And we are hopefully not even halfway through this one. Because then that would mean that um, that the Leafs would still be in it. I really hope this is. I didn't want it to go to seven. Now I that's the only thing I want. I just want it to go all the way. What a time. This is like the turning point of the series. Yesterday I thought was a pretty big turning point. I really did. But now it's really like, does this team just not have it? Or are they going to just find a way when no one else sees it? That's where we're at. I don't know if they can do it. I I believe if they come together and, and fix the details that they can do it. I do. What I'm not sure about believing is are they going to do it? And And you look at it too. It's like I've seen a lot of people like, oh, you know, but we don't have Nylander. When he comes back, if he comes back, no one even knows what the hell's going on there. I haven't even thought about it. Like to me, it's next man up. It's next man up. Is it important? Is it like an important piece missing? Of course, of course it is. But that's not the reason we lose. That's not the reason we win or lose. We've won without him, and we've lost without him. It's next man up. That's the playoffs. That's what it is. I'm not gonna blame it on one guy not being there and 
to me, it's about the guys on the ice. And and again, I I really thought a lot of them did some very good things tonight. And and it's just it's just some boneheaded decisions. It's some stupid puck luck. Which again, you have to be good to be lucky, and lucky to be good. If not, you just see luck as something that's against you, if you will. If you're doing the right things, if you're in the right spot, luck will be on your side. And if it's not, it's because there's something you did leading up to that. Obviously, sometimes there's going to be like some completely stupendous bounce that just doesn't make sense. Like I thought Bertuzzi's goal was lucky, but he was in the right spot. He went to the net. That's where goals happen. Riley threw the puck on net, missed 100% of the shots you don't take. Gretzky was on to something there. We'll see. Oh, man. Oh. I was really hoping to come on to this episode and celebrating a Leafs win. I really, and it could have been. That's that's the that's the feeling that, oh, it's, it's the most painful thing for a sports fan. It's what could have been. But the same way the sun rises another day, this team still can, with a win on Saturday, everything changes again. The mood is right back up to a million. It's that simple. That simple. A few details fixed is the difference between lowest low and the highest high. Detail. What's the saying? The the devil's in the detail. What's the? I don't know the saying. It's it's something along those lines. It's all. It's always. It's always about detail, because like I said, overall, every NHL team is capable of winning a hockey game. All of them, on any given night, doesn't even matter who. It doesn't matter. Every team is capable of winning a hockey game. If you're in the NHL, it's such a close league. It's such there's there's never a night. You can assume a guarantee, but there are so many nights where like upsets happen compared to other sports. Like if you think about, I don't know, who's like a horrible team in um, I don't watch really NBA. Let's say NFL. Let's say the Chiefs are playing like. Uh, I don't know who was like awful this year. Let's let's say the lowest team. Like, that's nearly a 10 out of 10 times Chiefs win it. In hockey, Sharks play the Rangers 10 times. Sure, Rangers probably win most of them. They don't win all 10. That, that's it's just hockey. It's an incredible sport. What a sport. What a beautiful sport. Oh, where do we go next? I'm, like, avoiding the inevitable here. It's it's just, like, ah. Oh, there's, like, what? it's a clash between the head and the heart. Like, my heart's just like, it's not done. It's not done. We got this. It's okay. And my head is like, shit, man. That might have, that, that might, that's going to come back to haunt us later. This loss is going to make a difference in the end of this series. It's going to affect the result. It all comes down to the guys in the room. Because I can assure you one thing. If the Leafs won that game and it's 2-1 series, the Bruins wouldn't count themselves out. That's for sure. And neither would the Leafs. The Leafs would not count the Bruins out, even if they're down 2-1. So there's two ways to look at it. You either feel sorry for yourself, or you get your head out of your ass, prepare for Saturday, and you make sure there is absolutely nothing else that happens other than a win that night. Don't care how it happens. Just make sure you score more than the other team. That's it. Is Nylander back? Is he not? Figure that out then. Like I'm I'm so I'm over dealing with like the speculation of the injury and what's going on. It's it's like look, next man up, it's the playoffs. I don't care. Just the guys on the ice, just get it done. Whoever that is, don't even care at this point. Look at Boston, just plug in guys. Mason Lowry, first playoff game in ever, played great. John Beecher's first playoff run scores the first goal of the series. What a classic. What a classic. What a series. What a sport. I, I, I don't even know where to go. Like, it's, it's, we just have to see the outcome. I don't know. I don't know. 
the Leafs used up. We're on we're on our last life right now. Yeah, ha we had three lives. You, when you're playing a video game, when you're playing like you know you got like the three hearts, we burned two of them. They got one left. They got one left. We lose on Saturday. This series is as good as done. Not entirely, mathematically speaking, but if we lose on Saturday, it's as good as it's. That is one hell of a hole you're going to have to dig yourself out of. If we tie the series, best of three. Best of three. We'll see what happens. But it's got it's the details. I said it. I've been saying it all year. I said it after game one. I thought they tightened up after game two, but they still made some stupid decisions. Um, sooner or later, they're going to have to fix it or that's going to be the downfall of them because th this team is not a bad team. The Leafs team this year is really not a bad team. They're actually, I thought, overall, so far in the 180 minutes they've played, I thought the Leafs have been the better team for at least half. At least. Game two, I thought we were better. This game, I thought, I thought for the most part. Obviously, there was moments, but both teams played really well. It was a great hockey game. But I just I think I think overall the Leafs have been the better team, but that's not what counts. What counts is scoring more than the other team, having more goals by the end of the game. Tampa, I thought, were the better team last year versus us in the first round, but the Leafs came out on top. You don't remember that Tampa was the better team. You remember that the Leafs won. That's it. That's the game. That's the game. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Far from over. But um, no room for error. No room for error. This is it. Saturday, like, this is it. Do you want to be here? Do you deserve to be here or not? If you deserve to be there, there is on the only thing I want to be talking about on Sunday is the fact that everything was thrown at them and it didn't matter. They were going to win. That's what I want to talk about. Am I going to be talking about that? I'm not sure. But they cannot lose that game. They they could. They could lose it, but then it's done. To the Leafs players, you can't lose that. If if you're a Leafs player, you look at that game and you're like, there is nothing in this universe that will stop us from winning this game. That's the mindset. That's It has to be that. You can't lose. It doesn't matter. It, it There's no excuse. There's go, you, you, you can't lose. You can't. You cannot. You cannot lose on Saturday. That's it. Because even if we win that game, we have to, if the Leafs are to win this series, we need to take another game in Boston. That's a tall task. That's a very tall task. And you're telling me if we lose on Saturday, we're going to have to take the remaining three in a row? I don't like my chances with that. Tie the series? I can live with that. I can live with that. Saturday, there's no other option. You go out there, you win the game. Whoever's ready. If Nylander plays, if Nylander doesn't. I'm not even going to get into the details anymore about what I thought about this guy and that guy and the other. It's, it's I, I've lost the patience for that. To me, it's the, it's the result that matters. I Again, I appreciate the effort they gave. They didn't win. I won't remember their effort. I'm going to remember the loss. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. And that's it. So Saturday, it's put up or shut up again. It's This is it. You guys have to go out there and whatever the world decides to throw at you in that game, whether you feel God's almighty power against you, you do not lose that game. There is no other option than to win that game. How you're going to do that, that's not up to me. I don't get paid $12 million to play hockey. I don't get paid $5 million to coach a team. Not my job. I'm a fan. I'll be here. I love you guys. I'll, I'll be here supporting with every ounce of fiber in my human body. I'll give them my all. 
But unfortunately, all I can do is support. I can't change the outcome. That's on you. So make sure you're ready. Put yourself in a position where nothing else other than a win is the result of that game. Regardless of what happens from 0 to 60, just make sure you end up scoring more than the other team once the time runs out. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. That, that's where I'm at. And I believe they can do it. It's just now a matter of I'm not going to speculate anymore. It's just another golden opportunity here. Go out go out there and get it done. That's it. It's, it's, it's so complex yet so simple. The details matter so much, but at the end of the day, it's simple. Win or lose. Make sure you win. If you enjoyed the episode, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. Lots of hockey to be played. But this is it. No more room for mistakes. This is it. Are you going to fall to the ghosts of the past? Or are you truly going to start a different era? We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. And that's a wrap. Hope you don't miss us too much until next time. Follow the Sick Podcast with That Leafs Fan on YouTube, Facebook, Google Play, and Apple Podcasts.